Uh, today I'm going to talk about a new approach. It's not a new plug, it's a new approach. I call it a sport plug. And this is a single point director sheet and tap plug for diagnostic gynecological laparoscopies and lap assisted vaginal hysterectomies. So for these procedures, uh, both procedures, the ports are basically a 10 millimeter port, which is paraumbilical, usually in the infraumbilical region, and the two 5 millimeter ports on either side near the anterospelic spine, and one 5 millimeter port, which is just suprapubic. And we know that uh, the nerves, that is T9 to L1, are located in the transverse abdominal plane between the uh, costal margin and the iliac crest. In the anterior axillary line, so if you look at this, that's a nerve passing in the transverse abdominal plane, then it pierces uh, the posterior rectus sheath and supplies the skin. So the plan is to actually deposit local anesthetic there and then move literally to deposit local anesthetic in the TA plane. So that's uh, basically the area of interest uh, for us. Uh, the probe is placed uh, lateral to the umbilicus and this is just over the anterior rectus sheath, the little border of the rectus sheath. And the needle comes from medial to lateral side uh, for the rectus sheath block. Then we move the uh, probe a little bit more lateral just over the anticipatic spine and then uh, the needle actually goes a little longer distance uh, into the tap plane. Uh, so if you're doing the uh, block for the right side, we stand on the left side of the patient and the machine is on the other side. Um, you can move the machine uh, onto the other side when you actually do the uh, left side of the block. Or what you can do is you can move the machine from the head end to the uh, leg end and you actually move uh, to the head end and then you introduce the needle again from the medial to the lateral side. So it can be done from the same side as well, but you just need to move the things around. Um, uh, this is uh, looking at a block uh, which has been done for the right side and the needle is coming from medial to lateral side. Uh, this is local anesthetic being deposited over the posterior rectus sheath, that's the rectus muscle. And once local anesthetic deposited, uh, in this case we're using 0.375% uh, levobipuacane, uh, 10 ml are deposited there and then we come out and take another from the same entry point, actually go a longer distance and go more laterally and uh, till we reach the tap plane and deposit local anesthetic there and another 10 ml are deposited here. So we'll, we are using around 40 ml, so 0.375% levobipuacane for these cases. And the experience has been um, the analgesia is excellent. Uh, diagnostic laparoscopies don't require uh, no more than uh, maybe 20, 20 to 50 mics of fentanyl. We also use multimodal analgesia like in any case. All patients will get dexamethasone, IV diclofenac, and a gram of paracetamol intraoperatively. Uh, thank you for watching the video. Uh, this is from the Global Anesthesia and Critical Care Initiative. Uh, you can find us on our Facebook group, uh, The Anesthetist and Preparing for Anesthesia Exams.